you join us in episode two of the Unknown to Icon series. We are manager of Scarborough Athletic and we won our first game against Halifax in the FA Cup qualifying rounds. What else can we do? Great start, but will it continue? Let's find out. We played Tamworth away and we beat him 4-2. This is our fifth game as manager and it's five wins out of five. Now Tamworth are up there. They're either second or third in the table. And as you can see, it was very, very tight. Fair enough, they had a couple more shots than us, but going through, we had better clear cut chances. We, I mean, clear cut chances went through as goals, right? Four and two, that's how it ended. Who scored fast? Maloney, Wills, Colson, and Colson. Colson is looking like a real good player. Old, experienced, but he definitely knows where the net is. Highlight game for us in November, actually it was two. We played Atricum in the FA Cup first round. Proper, proper, remember it, proper. We played them away and we drew three all. So therefore we got replay, brought them at home. And we battered them 4-0. Again, no send-ins off. Just a great result for us. And they're a league above us as well. We've just gone 14 games unbeaten and then we play in the FA Cup second round. We were so close getting to the third round. Maybe we could have got a premiership team. We played Port Vale who are in League One and we lost 1-0. We was at home. We drew to them. This is a replay. We drew to them away, brought them home and we lost. We lost our first game the Scarborough Athletic Manager. Lewis Maloney has won December's Player of the Month. He has played four games, scored three and assisted four. Average rating 7.8. 28-year-old is doing really well for our team. I am playing him in a, I mean, his best position is a deep line playmaker, but I am playing him in a box to box. Overall for the season, he has played a 7.21. So far played 29 games, 31 games, scored eight and 12 assists. I think that's not bad for a box to box, right? He is definitely one of our better players or even probably the best player. And his free kick taking is amazing. In the month of January, we won five games and lost two. One of them was we're out for FA Trophy that we lost against Chesterfield away. And that was in the uh, fourth round. And for other game we lost was against Blyth Spartans away 1-0. We then go into February where we, it was a bit up and down. Maybe this is a turning point that it might just not go well anymore. We drew three games, we won three games and we lost. So it's not that bad, but obviously previously we've done really, really well. One of the games that we drew, this was away. We played Gloucester City. It was three all, a six goal thriller. Uh, Charles, Gouda and Colville got on the score sheet for us. And this is kind of how our team is looking at the moment. Green got injured. He has been fantastic for us. So that's a big loss. Colville and Maloney playing superb in, in that centre mid for us. And again, Solomon and Gouda. Gouda, 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 Gouda. That's one. It's kind of like a game between either side and then it's Gouda. In our weakest points in my team at the moment is probably our wing backs and our goalkeeper. We are now at the beginning of March and we play Tamworth at home. Now we're getting to the end of the season now. We are second, Tamworth are top. Tamworth have now, with them beating us at home, have now created a gap. I feel like that we now need to win every single game to have a chance of winning the league. Or we're going to go and be in playoffs. Tier gets a goal for us. Charles got injured in the third minute. Maybe that was the turning point. Colson slowly coming back from injury and everyone just didn't perform. I was very, very disappointed. We are end of March and we have four games left of the season to go. I'm not going to show you them, but I will definitely show you for the last game of the season if it goes down to the wire. So who do we have? We have Kings Lynn, who are 24th, Spennymore, who are third. That's going to be a challenging game, but we do have home advantage. 
Home form's not that great for us. We are better away. Boston United away 13th and then we finish the season off against Afrington Town who are 17th. That should be win, draw, win, win. What do you think? I mean, if we look across the teams, uh, I mean, Spenny Moore can catch us. So can Chester, to be fair. And so can South Shields, only on 74 points. So it's only six points behind us and seven points behind Tamworth. South Shields, so there's an outside chance there. Tamworth, they're playing Brackley Town, our last unknown to icon team there. They are in the relegation zone at the moment. Ah, oh, feel kind of bad. I mean, we got them promoted. They're playing Warrington, who are 16th at home. South Shields, South Shields, come on, South Shields. You can do it. But unfortunately, Tamworth are at home. And then they finish the season off against Banbury United, who are 19th. But then again, away, whereas we're at home. So who knows where it's going to go. We win our first manager of the month. All for away in March, but 83% win ratio against, uh, across six games. So we lost against Tamworth. Disappointing home. How much is that going to pay off? And then we won our other games remaining. Tim Flowers for Buxton has been doing really well. He's won it three times. Wow. Fair play to Tim Flowers. Where are they in the league? They are seventh. 70 points. So they're in for playoffs. So we could, if we get in playoffs, we could meet Buxton. And they seem like on the second half of the season, they are on form. And our chairperson, he's enjoying our moment. Obviously, I took over for club who was doing really bad. And we are in a position that we could end up winning the league or getting promoted by playoffs. I've actually got supporters at A plus and the board at A plus as well. I've never had that before. Even winning Champions League and for FA Cup with Man United, I still didn't get A plus, A plus. So I must be doing something right with this club. So we go into our last four games of the season. Number one, done away against Kingsling Town. We beat them 2-1. Game number two that I said was going to be our hardest challenge, and that was against Spennymore, who are third in the table. We're at home, and we beat him 2-1. That's two in two. Two to go. Then we played Boston United away. It was a really, really tough game. We nicked the winner in the 85th minute, but three vital points. We now go into the last game of the season one point behind Tamworth. So we're playing at home against Afferton Town are currently 17th in the league. And for team we are trying to catch up, they are one point above us. We've got the better goal difference with 42. They've got 38, but they've obviously got the one point. They are playing Banbury United away. So we are praying Banbury United win this. Or even draw, but we need to win as well, right? Banbury United are 18th. So teams are very close. It's just that we have home advantage. That game going back to playing Tamworth where we lost 2-1 at home is now playing crucial, especially if we don't win the league. I just can't believe how much going back to that game is just going to potentially hurt us. I'm worried. If we win, they win. We're in playoffs. If we draw, they draw. We're in playoffs. We lose, they lose. We're in playoffs. If we win, and they have a different result to us, draw or loss, we are champions. Let's go see if we can do it. Pray, pray. So we've really gone for it today, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But only change from our last game is Frank Mohern has to come in because Michael Colson picked up a bit of a knock and he's still not fully recovered. He is, however, on the bench. We do also have our young striker, Jake Charles, Coming back from injury, he's also on the bench. Attack, attack. Alex Wills, he's our attacking midfielder. Attack. Ashley Jank Jackson, he's more of an attacking wing back. Attack. I was thinking about not even including a goalkeeper, but I thought, don't be stupid. There's our form. Win, 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 win. Lovely. I can't believe I've got this team playing so well, if I'm honest. It's a bit of a shock. All right, we've got the ball. Brown. Solomon. Solomon. Gooder. So being patient. M Maloney. Maloney's been fantastic. So as our back two, to be fair, Goda and um, Gooder and Solomon. Green. Glad that Green's back. He's been injured for ages and that's a penalty. And it looks like <laughs> Afferton's player got injured while he 
took down our man as well. Oh, no Colson taking penalties. Colson has been Mr. Reliable. Maloney, he's been good with set pieces as well. Yes. Now, sometimes the scores do pop up in our tablet as well. Nothing's been said yet. Right, Atherton's got a free kick. Hear it. Well, it's had three tees then. Oh, and they've scored. Oh, wasn't expecting that. Good free kick. Oh, Banbury's beating Tamworth and we're drawing. We're we're top of the table at the moment as it stands. Sorry, but a draw is not good enough in my eyes, just in case they draw. Because if they draw and we draw, we're in blouse. Oh, Tamworth's come back to seeing they're winning 2-1 now. But at the moment, we're even if we get one back, oh, we're still second. Wow, Tamworth got two goals really quickly back. Come on, Scarborough. Been playing brilliant all season. This is a game where we're going to lose, isn't it? Just as I said it. Oh dear. Just before half time as well. I'm trying not to swear right now. Tamworth's winning and we're losing. Right, we go again. Colson's on. Mulhern is off. Mulhern's rubbish. He won't be staying at my club next season, no matter what happens. I've gone attacking as well, and I've ripped into my team at half time. I nearly threw for bottle at them, but I resisted. I just thrashed my arms. No, not good enough. It's going to be one of those games, isn't it? You know what? If we lose and Tamworth win, but still, it's just losing that form. Going into playoffs, a loss. It's not good. 60. Oh, let's watch this highlight. I'm going to bring up their score in a minute as well onto our side tablet thing. Come on, we need to get one back. Go on. Yes. This attacking formation is good when all up. I mean, we can play three attacking forwards on this as well. Advanced forwards. Right, let's bring up the score. I'm going to bring it here so I can see later scores. Ah, oh, they're free one. Yeah. Even if we win this, we need a miracle from Tamwa, uh, from Banbury. Oh, here we go. It's just about press space bar then to make some subs. Tier Brown. Brown's on a yellow. Got to watch that. Tier Colville. Colville's playing more advanced. He's gone for it and it's gone over for a corner. Tamworth still winning 3-1. We're drawing 2 all. In my eyes, our result is not good enough. And Atherton's got a bloody corner. Five minutes to play. Clear it. Oh, this game's made me angry. Playoffs are going to be a fucking headache. If we play like that, we're not going through. Disappointing. We didn't win the league. But hey, oh, need to remain positive. We are in for playoffs. And I am going to show you for playoff games in the next video. We can't win everything. It is what it is. I can't produce miracles, I guess. But I'm still happy. In for moment, yes, I was upset. I swore. I hit things. Not going to lie. It's what you do. I don't like losing. But now that I've taken a breath to get to second place, with a team of where we was brilliant stuff and the season is not over got to remember that so as much as there's not much to like about this video if you would like to support the channel and this video like button so you can go out to the world and if you would like to see if we do get promoted you know what you need to do hit that subscribe button and i'll catch you on for the next one